Hi everyone. So today I am refilling some mulch to my trees because it's getting cold and the mulch kind of went down a little bit. So I'm going to refill it to make sure it's nice and warm for the trees in the winter time or winter in Arizona in a desert area where I live in surprise it's not really winter for rest of the America but to us here it's enough cold okay <laughs> so gonna fix this pomegranate a little bit lift it up and just add mulch to the trees my entire area where the trees are everything is mulched and my son's helping one is here one is coming in coming to help and i have a lot of helpers here too look at that he's hiding he's hiding he's like i'm not doing anything Look at him here. Girls, what you doing? <laughs> Look at her. Put it on this side of the... Hold on, hold on. Go ahead. There we go. Thanks. So, now just need to make sure to, it's not next to the tree. Always need to move it and I can't do that with one hand. So that's what I'm going to go do and then show you what I did. So like this, huh? Yeah. Let me get lower. You need to be on this side. Like this, huh? Yeah. So tell me, what is the plan? Put these two on the side and then what? We'll, we'll put another one here and then we'll, we'll tie it just so it's off the ground. Less pest, you know, Close. less pest problems. Duro. Yeah. Nice. This is pomegranate. It has so much growth. We... When did we plant this? Last year? This time last year? Drugs. Oh, that too. Right here. Just like nice. this. Last year. Is it last year? Well, you gave the lady... Something. I don't, I don't remember. I and she gave me the cutting tool. She gave you a little cutting. And now look all behind you that I cut. I know. Here, my son is six foot. And look, it's oh, almost, like this. what is it, like five feet? And look, all this yeah, we had okay. to, we cut just a little bit on the bottom because it was very bushy. So, 
add a coat a little. What you doing now? The tape, the tape, the Just tying it. That's all. Tying it and it down. Pretty pomegranate. So it's been a year, and it grew what, five, six feet, and bunch uh, of. Grew more. Well. Because it's, it's about seven, eight feet tall, but we cut already some stuff and. Yeah. It's packed, seriously, packed. Well, we had to take some fruits off so they don't break. The whole plant would have broken and collapsed if we didn't do it. So now we're gonna let that. Where is that thing? Right here? <laughs> Did you find it? There we go. See now we have them off the ground. Fill them one more month. See, yeah. it takes a little work, but I think it's worth it. Now it's standing up. Not all of it, but... Huh? Yeah. I think it looks much better. It does. And now we need to fill up the mulch. So tell me, what's the tires? Tires? <laughs> we have semi-trucks, so... <laughs> yeah. And every time we have, we change tires or whatever, we save them and we cut them and we use them for trees holds the moisture plus keeps the chicken out of it and, way, and it doesn't look that bad a lot of it mulch covers so this whole entire area where trees are it's what do you think 8 to 12 inches were we walking of about a foot deep? Yeah. So we're just we filling it up. In, in like you here. can see here, perfect how deep it is. So I've done one. One should be enough there. Dump that one. I yeah, don't know. yeah, you need here. two. So we're gonna. Because winter is coming, winter is coming and uh, mulch keeps the roots warm. <laughs> My helpers, huh? We're not your helpers, we're your workers. You, you workers? <laughs> yeah, bring one more over here. Uh, I pay you with good food and everything else you need. Yeah. 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 You can tell. Look at that cute belly. <laughs> Hi, wonderful people. You see, every time I come out, who comes out to? Who comes out? Hi. Where's my big boy? Hi. Hi. Hi, Karen. Cookie. That's Cookie. Because she's smart. Like a cookie. You know? Smart. <laughs> Where's my big boy? This is a big boy. Hi. Huh? You're not gonna give me any dances today? Huh? Where's my dance? 
I'm recording you, shy. Are you camera shy? Are you camera shy? Huh? Of course you're coming after me. Yes. No, 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 no. <laughs> huh? If you want somebody to follow you, you don't have to have dogs. I have freaking chickens. Hmm? Right? My neighbor brought me some stuff here. Here. Oops, Karen, sorry. Are you guys coming in the house? There. So. This is what we did. This is actually two days later. We filled up mulch in each one of these loquat peach and this is how pomegranate looks like right now it's lifted off the floor ants and everything else cannot get to it. I mean, they still can, but it's a lot better like this. On this tree, I have four different trees. My blackberry and of course like I said, you don't have a dog, get chickens, they walk after you. <laughs> and the reason why I have to have this, it's because of them until all the trees grow. This fig is coming, the cutting is coming from Europe. Um... The cutting I got actually is from a mature tree that's here in Arizona. But the person who got the tree, it's from Europe cutting. He brought it here, grew, and now I got the cutting from him. And it's growing. I just planted this a few weeks ago actually in the ground. It was in a pot, in a garden. That's another rooster. <laughs> He's so funny. So, that's about it for right now. My neighbors are outside with the kids, yelling and screaming at each other like always. So, that will be it for this video. Well, actually... You can see if you're asking, will chicken eat blackberries? Yes, look, look what they're doing. But there's plenty I can share. <laughs> so I will make this it for this week for the video. Have a wonderful day, guys. I love you. Like, comment, and subscribe, okay? Bye. See you next week.